Who to pick? Who to pick? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah. By the way, I like that Dagger's portrait is, uh, not only is it different in that it reflects she has short hair, but now she's actually looking at yeah. you as opposed to looking down into the side. Yeah, she's like, hey. Like, she, you like know, she's found her confidence. Like, every one of her exes is now looking at her new, like, profile picture. Yeah, and, like, now that she's got her fiancé that she's just so yeah. happy with. is over the moon with this guy. And she's got this, yeah, new confidence, new yeah. look, like, new... Moving up in the world in every conceivable way. Completely different persona. Like, yeah. everything that you had hoped that you could, you know, perhaps help her find in herself, now she's just... Showing it off! Thanks to this weird, stinky monkey man, and now we get the low to save. Uh, run- oh, there's our- there's our little buddy. Pan the buddy. camera a little bit. Yeah, now go in that forest. And hit X. What? And fly to the northwest corner. So, if I- no, I think fly east, and then just go north. Cause I can just, like, go- You- you- you'll loop oh, around, oh, yeah. Wait. I think it's X to go forward. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. So cool. I just wish there were bosses around in the ocean. Yeah, I wish there was something out here. I think it might be literally in the corner of the map. Uh, yeah, I wish there was just something you could run into out here. Which is what Wild Arms did, and I love that. Oh, oh there, there it is. Go. Yeah. So, uh, you can land in the forest by pressing, uh, circle. Only in forest. Only in forest. Now go up to that crack right there. Yeah. Uh, hit triangle. Use a dead pepper. Hooray! We have finished Chocobo's pilgrimage. Yay! Yay, Choco, you're home! His family's dead. No! <laughs> they were trapped in this cave and they starved to death, and well, now they're just bird skeletons. <laughs> Chocobo's paradise, no shit, look at this place. That's a anybody's paradise, <laughs> what? Why did Chocobos get this? Like... They got a fucking slide up there? Yeah, what the fuck? Choco's buddy, Mene, who we didn't really get to meet. When did you get here? Eh. No, not eh. Ooh. I think you hop down. I think you slide down that. Which looks radical. Fucking just water slides and <laughs> yeah. pools and all the bird friends. Quay. Like, why not just give up and live your life here? Well, that's what Choco wants to do. The whole reason you're doing the Chocobo hot and cold side quest is to get Choco here. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Fat Chocobo. I was in Final Fantasy 5 and 7, and I make an appearance in 8 with a card. It would have been better if you left this disgusting rat human <laughs> out here, but hey, at least you're home. I've made it so you can understand our language while you're here. How convenient of me. I also teleported you across the pond. Because why Why should anyone here have to walk? Yeah. This is paradise. That's how Fat Chocobo gets so Choco fat. I imagine Fat Chocobo sounds like the, um, the Mark Lars in South Park. <laughs> Little one. I, I picture either Mark Lar or, like, almost like a child's voice. Or, okay, I can see that too. No, ex only Chocobo's only for no exceptions? No exceptions. What a dick! Have you finished your goodbyes? <laughs> Are you not looking for peace and companionship? Are there things you must take care of? Que. So before you abandon your friends, make sure you finish all the worldly goods you are concerned about. Make sure you find enough treasures for them. I'm going home, Koopo. <laughs> this is so sad. Which one? We have three! Now what do we do here? Now this we just leave. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. What a great place. Yeah. If you're an asshole. <laughs> Riggs, lay down. I wasn't talking about you. But you're kind of an asshole. Now, fly to that blue dot in the south. Then we can get on with the story. Well, that means I can just go north. Oh, wrong button. Oh, wait a minute. No, you don't gotta do that at all. Um, fly Actually, I'll take us where we need to go. Because it's, it's in one of the spots where like I couldn't possibly tell you which direction <clears throat> to go. Oh yeah, we should take a quick look at their equipment, because I did all that, uh, Chocobo hot and cold stuff. Let's see. We got Sargatanis, Gold Hairpin, Thieves Gloves, Power Vest, Promised Ring, Ooh. fucking Ragnarok. 
That's badass. That's... Genji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always like the penultimate sword. It's cooler than a promise ring. Get a Genji helmet, shield, armor, black belt, ribbon, octagon rod. <laughs> that sounds like something that goes inside you. Black robe, ribbon, light robe, whale whisker. We had that. Just gonna shove a couple of elixirs down the throat because I have even more. <laughs> Take it. Also, I leveled them up a little bit. Nothing huge, but they're. 10 levels higher than they were, so we should have no problems going forward. Dagger with that little smirk and that slight out eyebrow raise. And that short hair. Damn it, damn it. Always with the short hair. And Zidane's just like, mm hmm What does that mean, Zidane's like, you know. You know what they say about the short hair? No, I don't. What does that possibly mean, Zidane? And he just like, blushes a little bit and like, kind of just smiles to himself. And you're like, what is it you do? You get all bashful now? And he's just like, does that thing where he like kicks the dirt with his yeah, foot, yeah, like yeah, looking yeah. down. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> just getting mad at him. <laughs> like he's not answering, but he's just being all cutesy about it, talking about how the short hair means something. Fucking Zidane. <laughs> Zidane's the coolest hero so far. Yeah, yeah, he might just be. <laughs> In our heads. And our head cannon. <laughs> this fucking pizza donut eating fat rat, rat fighting. He's just like <laughs> part city animal, <laughs> part gross dude, all cop, <laughs> all cop. <laughs> The tagline to Robocop is half man, half machine, all cop. Jim Sterling once went, he wrote like an essay about something, and I think it was a response to one of the early digital homicide bits. And uh, at the very end of it, he signed it off with half man, half god, all cop. <laughs> oh yeah, Durfbo, what's up? Yeah, we all forgot about you. <laughs> I work alone. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. You've been with us for two discs, and you literally have never worked alone in all that time. Granted, we haven't used these technically, you haven't been working at all. I'm gonna find it all on my own. And he yeah. runs off and an eagle snatches him up as he's <laughs> heading up the stairs. <laughs> oh. And then, and then Durfbo's <laughs> brother comes up and is like, hey, Durfbo <laughs> told me all about you. And I look just like him, so how about you just call me Durfbo? <laughs> I feel like I know all you all and what's going on. Yeah, let him go. Get out of here, Durfbo. We never wanted you to begin with. <laughs> throwing rocks as he leaves. This is why Zidane immediately forgot about you after meeting you <laughs> those many years ago. Even though your head is made of red vines. I can't change the way he thinks. He looks at the rest of the party and goes, who was that guy? <laughs> and they're like, I don't know. And then and then <laughs> Dagger's like, Durfbo. <laughs> and then everyone else is like, I don't know. And like, no one pays any attention yeah. to Dagger. At oh, all. Uh, go in the menu real quick. Uh, go to equip... Equip Zidane, uh, equip Sargant Sargatanus. Uh, oh, equip the dagger. Just regular old dagger. Regular old dagger. Now go to uh, what's his name? Steiner. And uh, let's see if he still has his original sword. Yeah, he does. Is cool. Broadsword. Broad yeah, just broadsword. Um, and then with them, do the same thing. You may as well since we're here. So mage staff. Was it just okay? Just yeah. Mage, I, guess yeah I think so. Like... Yeah. Ma yeah, because it just teaches fire and, and rod. rod. There. Uh, funny thing about Ibsen's castle, it's the upside down castle and the attack power of weapons are reversed in here. Oh, nice. So by equipping the weakest weapons, you have the maximum attack power possible. Now, does that go for magic attack too? Uh, no, not magic, not spells, but your casters can hit harder with their basic weapons in here. So just slap everyone. You may as well slap everyone and get those chests. Oh, wait, there's chests back there? Yeah. Fuck. There's one to the left and one to the right. They're hidden in shadows. Like, they they actually hide the chests a little bit in this game. Where did I come from? There we go. What do I want? <laughs> it's... Is, there, is there another one? Oh, Aquarius. Yeah, to the left. Ah, oh, shit. It's fine. In the edits, I've been cutting down. It, and if you don't have those weapons, they give them to you here. Uh -huh. Throughout the castle. And you're probably like, what the fuck is Exactly, this yeah. But then you realize piece? that your weapons, your fucking Ragnarok is hitting for like 120 damage. And you're going, wait, what? Also, I think this Moogle just sells them. I was supposed to go up there, but I am. Uh, 
Yeah, it's not. It's, it, I mean, going up here is not going to be detrimental, I don't think. There's an optional accessory. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, it's fuck face. I think we basically just broke it, uh, just booked it straight to the end of this place. Yeah, I'm the day. winner. It wasn't a contest. We're trying to save the world. I'm the winner, winner, chicken dinner. So much time you lose, but we're we do the people. Yeah, but I have a healer on my team. What are you going to do when you find a boss? Do you have a short haired healer on your team? Do you have a sexy babe who can heal you and then beat you with her staff and then heal you as she beats you with her staff so she can basically beat you with, for all night? Just all night because she keeps healing you with that staff? And everyone's just staring at him. <laughs> and he sees a rat scamper by with some pizza crust. <laughs> it's mine! He looks at Steiner. He's like, you catch my drift, Rusto, and like punches him in the armor and then runs <laughs> after the rat with the pizza crust. He just pulls this shit off the wall. Am I just taking them all? I guess I'm taking them yeah, all. Yeah, you're just taking them all. I okay. guess these look these look fun. I'll take these. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, uh, this first one took me a moment. It's uh, called Blood and Thunder, and it's um, it's a uh, Monster Hunter. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that one at all. I um, was like, what the fuck? This one is uh, oh, the, Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus. There we go. Yeah. But I feel like the the way he's drawn the the hero for this one makes him look too much like Link from Breath of the, Breath Wild. Of the Wild. That's also what I was like. Because it, it it's the same color and trim on his, his blue shirt and it's kind of the same cut. Alright, we got we stole those ancient those artifacts. Mirrors. Now we can leave. Looks like we got what we came here for. Let's fucking bounce. Just my own handsome face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know the scream. <laughs> I know exactly that scream. <laughs> Mirror, return it tomorrow. Return it tomorrow? No, tomorrow. Tomato? Jesus. Fuck, man. You dare get in the way of Terra's master plan? It's to Harka. Return my mirrors so I may serve my beautiful face. <laughs> Your beautiful what? Foss. It's face, loser. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut yours off. That's a, I mean, it's a threat sedane, but it's a weird one. And then I'm gonna wear it. And I'm gonna fool your family into thinking it's you. Oh, and yeah. And I find your wife. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck her. Yeah, I hope she looks like you, but with a wig. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think. That's what I'm imagining. <laughs> I think you can summon Bahamut now. Sweet. Bahamut. Oh, also, uh, Dagger has uh, HP, uh, MP half. So oh. all of her MP costs are cut in half. Should I even steal from this thing? May as well. Mm. See what it's got. What do we got for uh, you guys? No, guys. keep going down. Keep going down. Oh wait, does he got? Keep going down. Shock. Well, there we go. It's the very bottom of the list. Why do you put that all the way down there, Steiner? Because it's my best one. Why would you put it at the top? Huh? That's where minus strike goes, and well, <laughs> I never use it. Ah, bug. These things just start to get farmed as seafood. <laughs> hey, they regenerate pretty quick, so if we just lop off their limbs, they'll grow them back. We only need the one. And then someone's like, but what about their claws? And then someone just slaps a big old rubber band on it. Like, ah. Oh, I'm neutered. I can't do anything now because these rubber bands on my claws. <laughs> There's a day he's just, I'm going to eat raw meat. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? I'm going to do it, guys. I'm gonna eat raw meat. <laughs> just gonna start chowing down on this thing. <laughs> Look at this thing. So pathetic. I know. You never break the seal. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> how do you how do you manipulate that thing in to animate it like that? Like are you basically just tur changing some values yeah. so that it's growing thinner yeah. and then just change them yeah. to zero you're, on one frame. You're basically taking like a scaling tool and, and like yeah. scaling it all Click one on that brick. wall and I think you can... I think that's a shortcut to the entrance. I'm trying to think of how I've done that in After Effects. Yeah. And how you would do that with a 3D model. Yeah, it's the same. You still have the same scale yeah. features. It just squishes. <laughs> Examine? I did exa oh, maybe oh, I think you have yeah. to take every option as they pop up. Fondle? <laughs> well, pounds is next best thing. 
tickle. <laughs> think? Well, I never think, except <laughs> with my dick. So he does use his dick? Yeah. Well, I've done it all. Maybe it's just me. Leave. And then it eats him? No. Come back. Ah, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Examine. Examine. Push. Pound town. Liquid brown pound. Think. <laughs> No, thinking doesn't do anything. Try pounding it again. <laughs> Try there something we go. drastic. Yeah. <laughs> what is his party? What, his party members got to be like what, Zidane, buddy. <laughs> Rest. Well, I might as well give up. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna sit here and die. <laughs> uh, Zidane. Zidane, you just need to push it. Or pull it. He's the best and the worst. It's so great. I'm getting hungry. What are we gonna get? I don't know. What should we get? I don't know. Whoa, another hole. Yeah, there are holes in the ground, but you can see their outlines if you look closely enough. They're standing on one right now, in fact. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I guess. Alright, so don't fall in the holes? Don't fall in the holes. Does it just immediately send you in or something? Like, go, It sends you to the floor below, which is how you can get that one chest that was down there, but it's nothing important. He throws the book down the hole. I'm like, well, fuck, Koopo. <laughs> I would love for a, mo a Moogle to say, well, fuck, Koopo. Yeah. I don't know what to do about this. This has never happened before. I guess just tell me your story and I'll try to remember it. <laughs> and so then you tell him about your progress. He forgets everything. Except for suddenly, suddenly Dagger is six feet tall and muscular and Zidane <laughs> is a fish that she keeps in a bowl on her hip. <laughs> How the fuck did you get this mixed up, Mo? And then, like, Zidane's the one who told the story. He's like... <laughs> I thought he wanted to hear something fun. I mean, I'm not going to tell him about <laughs> our lives. Our lives are boring. <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. Especially you, Freya. <laughs> Come on, let's make out. Who? Durfbo, you remember? Actually, now I'm forgetting him right now as we're talking about so him. So I just had the gross image of two of Freya's people making out. And I realized that something John Crick Felucci has drawn. Two rats making out? Well, I think they were dogs, oh, yeah. but they were chihuahuas, so they had oh, real long yeah, snouts. Yeah. He probably thought at the some same point, thing. At, at some point, John Crick Felucci had that same thought. How gross would it be if two long snouted animals yeah. just made out? Like, how would they do it? They can't yeah. articulate their lips. Well, let's find out. Why are we back here? We have to go find Durfbo. He Fuck. never made it out. Ah. Yeah, remember? Because he's a lone wolf and he works better alone. Fortunately, I know exactly where he's at. Essentially, like, uh, remember when cartoons would give you boners? Yeah. And, like, that's, like, his <laughs> whole thing was just, like, don't you just, you know, like, why wouldn't I design a character who's just, like, does super cutesy stuff and, you know, makes you feel weird? And and the uh, the interviewer was getting so weirded out, <laughs> like, talk, talking to old Uncle John about <laughs> cartoon women giving you boners. Yeah. God, and once he, like... The red and snippy he made for Spike or whatever channel oh. that was, like years later, like it's not good, but no. it's clearly just purely his version of Ren and Stimpy. And some episodes did just have naked women. Yeah. Not even like, oh, this woman's naked, but she's behind like a cloth or something. Just here's a naked woman, here are breasts, here are nipples, here's Stimpy. I think he was dressed as a superhero named Shampoo Master who just had a, <laughs> a spigot on his crotch and he was just squirting shampoo onto their heads. And they're like, oh, Shampoo Master, squirt your shampoo on me. And it's like, uh, John K. always draws these women, like, especially, like, you can tell that he's well, going... Like, look at the one on my secret membership lodge but, up there. Like, but they're, they're like... 
like a uh, Sodi pop is drawn with like Converse sneakers that are uh-huh. like loosely tied and stuff. Like I don't know, just real nuanced little details. Or I've seen him draw women that are like uh, wearing combat boots and like booty shorts, and you're just <laughs> like, yeah, you know what he's into, <laughs> and you know what kind of stuff he's searching for when he's perusing you know, the old Pornhub uh-huh. thumbnails. <laughs> yeah, just. And he, for John Crick for Lucy's frighteningly specific Pornhub yeah, queries. I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's the that movie Deus Ex. Uh, oh yeah. And and uh, the guy's like re- figuring out why he came out to this person's cabin in the middle of nowhere, and he's like, "You you searched my porn history, haven't you?" Like that's how he constructed the face of this um, uh-huh. robot woman is because he based it on this poor dude's porn. Search, <laughs> so he would be attracted to her, and it's like John K's porn search. Yeah. It's just like this. <laughs> like what is? It's a woman with like kind of not poofy hair, but voluminous hair, yeah. big eyes, um, a full narrow waist but full hips. Yeah, wearing some large shoes. Yeah, some and like yeah, just not go- even necessarily like big feet, just pronounced shoes. Goofy proportions, like. I felt yeah, that cool. like the things that he chooses to fixate on, I also find myself like I'm like, yeah, I get it. Like I, I get it, John. <laughs> yeah. Like I like those things too. And now, is it because of you? <laughs> are you the, are you the fucking reason for half of this? <laughs> like, what is the deal? Is it you? Is it Jessica Rabbit? How much of it? Like, <laughs> I know it's you to some extent. The question is, how much culpability do you yeah. have, John? How much culpability? Do- how much do you have, Uncle John? Like, when I eat certain things, and I go, how? <laughs> yeah, I do that too. <laughs> I'm like, that's because of you. <laughs> but what would I do if it weren't for Ren and Stimpy when I was... <laughs> would I be a better person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would I be an objectively better person? <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, how much of my... How how much of my taste in women is John K, Elvira, yeah. and fucking Jessica Rabbit? I feel like it might be equal parts yeah, each. yeah. Oh god. Yeah, it's like when you you know, you look it in the the Playboy magazine, you see the cartoon ladies and they give you a boner. <laughs> it's like, yeah, John, I know what you're talking about. I know that feeling. <laughs> like are we just getting frustrated with John because we know exactly what he's talking about? And no one else is willing to talk about no. the weird cartoon boners. Yeah. Yeah, John, I get it. Sometimes I go to Pornhub exactly for that. And yes, I have a ver- about one in every four of my favorites is exactly that. Why are these mirrors not able to spin on in their center <laughs> axis? They're all like off balance oh, yes. a bit. Like... As if there's a stick on the back and that's what's uh-huh. spinning. And... <laughs> but then these ones are off balance to the other side as if they're... No, that one's off balance to the other side. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Did, they... Did someone just go... We gotta mix it up a bit, so they just mirrored the mirror uh-huh. animation. <laughs> so we gotta break these seals. These mirrors still mirrors. And that thing's still first. alive. It, it's a flashback to five oh. minutes ago. I know, I know. Like you're telling this recap, the the three members who weren't there, one is all, all is one. Meaning there's a connection between these four seals. That's Z- quite a pull to make Zidane. And then Zidane just cut to him smashing them all on the ground yeah. and stomping on them. And there, now we can do whatever we want. <laughs> making right? like chimpanzee noises <laughs> as he's doing it. One is all and all is one. Alright everybody, off with your clothes. <laughs> We're gonna make this happen. Especially you Aaron, not you Aiko. Get out. <laughs> Give Iko, it ten years. I goes all excited at first, then Zidane's like, but not you. She's, she's the only like, oh. one who's excited. <laughs> she's already got those wings in her hands. <laughs> so remember that area a little while ago where there was an earthquake going on? You're like, what's this? Mm-hmm. We're going there now. Nice. There are three similar locations throughout the world, and so they're splitting the party up to per location so they can kill the bosses at the same time. Also, what we're heading to right now might be the most significant callback to previous Final Fantasies in this entire game. I want a Final Fantasy spin-off where your party is made up of all these different pilots. Hmm. And they come together, mm-hmm. and they just talk shit about their stupid hero parties that they're always taxiing <laughs> oh, okay. around. That's a, yeah, that's a good angle. I was about to say, that's actually, that's actually a very good hook to start a game, is if your party are just the crew of some shit. Yeah, like, 
all these people that just have to, you know, oh yeah, I flew the giant school around. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I, I, drew, I flew the high wind yeah. around. The motherfucker who flew the high wind is the party leader. Mm -hmm. he's, There's no way around that. Yeah, he's the coolest. Plus, he got to see Cloud and Tifa bone, so yeah. he's got a story to tell that all the other pilots are like, tell me about the time you saw those two bone. Alright guys, have you ever seen a sexual limit break? No. <laughs> It's all just sharp polygons and flashing effects going off everywhere. But when they're done, there's a fucking crater, and it's just loaded to the brim with spooge. <laughs> Man spooge, woman spooge, just spooge. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing in its own disgusting, horrific way. Durpo, get the fuck out of this party. I don't party. know why they bother having you make a party here. Be because we're gonna go to these locations, and they're gonna split us up anyway. This really should have just been taken care of in a cutscene. <laughs> 